Your college major will play a big part in your income after college. It's no secret that on average, we pay entry-level preschool teachers nearly half of the entry-level salary for an engineer. And graduates with business majors will likely earn significantly more than graduates with fine art degrees. But even within the same field, actual income can vary widely based on factors like location, company or organization size, cost of living, and even how many other people with the same degree are competing for the same job. When doing your research on careers, you'll run around the term average and median salary. These numbers compare salaries across every employee, including those who have 30 years of experience. Since most college graduates have little experience, they will likely earn far less. The location also plays a significant role in salary. Take these two teachers, for example. One teacher goes to work in Greenville, North Carolina and earns $38,000 a year. After taxes, she has $2,500 and rent is only $900 a month, leaving $1,600 a month for everything else. The other takes a much higher salary in San Francisco at $65,000 a year. After taxes, she has $4,100 and rent is $2,500 a month, leaving $1,600 a month for everything else. That may seem equal, but say a short time into your new career, you find the person of your dreams, and before you know it, you have a baby. In Greenville, childcare will cost about $1,200 a month, and in San Francisco, it will cost $1,900 per month. Knowing the cost of living when deciding on where to work can make a huge difference. How much does your dream job pay? 